Okay. Let's get on over here. I feel like Ulfric is definitely Welcome. a dude who is like. Let me know if you want well, past tense. He a was a dude who would not have Somewhere. washed his ass. Oh shit, look. Vincent Van Gogh is stuck. Wow, as if this place couldn't get more prejudiced. <laughs>When we had last left the last dragonborn, they had finally reached the culmination of the Skyrim Civil War. Yes, the Stormcloaks and the Imperials had finally come to their final confrontation at Windhelm, where they ended up fighting and the whole place was on fire. Farmers were outside picking wheat that wasn't even there as their own farms burned around them and they didn't seem to care. But perhaps most importantly was that Ulfric Stormcloak was killed and replaced by Brune Stormwolf or something like that. I forgot what his name was, but he was all right. And the Empire continued its usual goings-on as the reunification continued its its efforts and the rest of the Stormcloaks were stamped out. Now, however, it was time to seek out smaller-scale adventures. Yes, ones involving books that needed delivering. This is The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. Welcome back. And... Here we are, back here in Shirzum, 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 whatever the this place is called. It's it's something like that. Yeah. See, see, that was that was it. I got it right. I got it right. It's Shirzum. That's it. But uh, we're back here. <clears throat> I've put up a few things that we have collected, like the Daedric Sword of the Vampire, the Axe of Eastmarch, you know? I guess we could have picked up Ulfric's weapon and stowed it up here, but, eh, I mean, eventually I would just forget what the fuck it was. So instead we got, you know, the armor and everything, right? And we've already got this set from Galmar. We got this before. I forgot where we got it. Off of some, like, high-ranking lieutenant in the Stormcloaks. As we had done one of their little, uh, one of the prior quests and whatnot. But check out, uh, fucking Ulfric's, like, Ugg boot looking shoes. Look at this shit. Huh. Wild. Alright. Also as well. Hang on. Yeah, he's got the fucking, like, Wonder Woman thing going on. Right? The only thing that he's wearing that actually does provide armor are the bracers. His chest piece, despite the fact that it looks totally like a robe over top of, like, an actual breastplate, I guess it's not. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's just for show. It's actually just cloth that looks really, like, it's got a luster to it, a sheen. <laughs> anyway, also, I cleaned up the, the murder mess and all of that. I paid the extra money to clean up the murder mess because... I don't know, like, <laughs> I, maybe I would have kept, like, the blood and shit, but, hang on, oh, fuck. But having, like, all the other shit here, like, the massive altar just sort of blocking everything up, seems like a bit of a problem if I ever intend to make use of this, which I'm not even sure if I will, because, you know, it's in Windhelm, <laughs> right? It's not exactly one of my favorite uh, places, like... If anything, we mentioned this a while back. The thing about this house, and a lot of the houses in Windhelm, in this part of the city, is that they're too open, you know? It feels like there's just too much room. There's not enough, there's not enough organization. This is kind of like, this is like a house that you would build in Minecraft early on, or something like that, where you don't really have much structure for it. And you just build, like, a couple rooms or something, and the rooms are, like, massive, right? Like, the sense of scale 
Like, you, you would never find a house like this in reality or whatever, you know? It doesn't make any sense for, like, a single person or single family even domicile. There's just too much room. It doesn't, it doesn't check out. It doesn't make sense. Like, look at this. There's just a big empty area in the middle of the house. I don't know. Something about it. The, the like, feng shui is totally off or whatever because of it. Anyhow. In between videos, I was also checking what the hell we should actually get on with doing, and I figured, hey, maybe we hit up a few more Creation Club hoot nannies and all that, right? I think maybe we do exactly- No! This guy's there. And, I figured before we get to that, we should tend to this miscellaneous quest, because it is tied to this person. We can deliver Adonado's book to Gerard, who is in, uh, what do you call it? Solitude, right? It was the bard? Yeah. Yeah, it was the the book that we had read before, Olaf and the Dragon. We'll take that over, and then we need to come back to Windhelm and check out their little journal somewhere in the inn. I referred to my little handy-dandy creation club guide and was checking for stuff in this area, and there's, there's a few in there, so I just went with one kind of near the top of the list that we hadn't done yet. And, hey, the name popped out because, like I said, we we just got this quest from this dude. So I figured, why not? We'll do it here. We'll do it now. Well, not now immediately, but... <laughs> after we go to Solitude, then it will be now. Okay. Let's head on out. Do the guards have anything new to say? Hands to yourself, sneak thief. Yeah, cool. Okay. I'm surprised that they don't... don't. Think you'll get special treatment just because you have a house in the city. Huh. I don't think I've ever actually heard that one. I'm surprised they don't have any unique lines for the Civil War and all that, you know? Okay. I can take you to any of the whole capitals. Where do you I want to go? I would love that. I would love to go to Solitude. Climb and back and we'll be off. Alright. It's almost there. getting downright hot now. <laughs> it's such a great line. Good, huh? It's such a great line because... Like, it works both as being set, spoken in earnest and just being, like, totally tongue-in-cheek and sarcastic as hell, right? Like, I think he was saying it in earnest. Well, I, fuck, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it could have gone either way, right? Shit, just like, just like all, all of the best writing in the Elder Scrolls. It's up to interpretation, huh? Fucking A. Okay, let's head on up and over here. There we are. Cool. In the... In the Stormcloak version, you storm solitude, huh? I would have to assume. Pretty wild. It's amazing that they don't have, like... Oh, you know what they should do? Because there's just the one way up here. Aside from the secret side entrance. They need to have a whole bunch of, like, rocks, boulders and shit to roll down the... The ramp there, you know? It's a hill. It's an incline. Roll down a bunch of rocks and shit. Like, fucking hit them with the old, like, old school so Mario, nice right? <laughs> do do some Donkey Kong business. Okay. Hey, what's up? Gerard Jemaine. Like okay. Hey. My position, Dean of History, actually covers a wide range of subjects. I teach poetry, writing, history, and the finer points of court life. That's fascinating. Well, I have a delivery from Adonato Liotelli. Ah, yes. Adonato's new work. Shorter than I expected, but words must be judged on merit, not length. I'll look over this later. Why don't you take this for your trouble? Wow. 750 big ones. Holy shit. Okay, well, You've thank you. have already learned all I can teach you. Uh, oh, I know. I know all about that. I suppose I should return to my Yeah, they should have had me deliver the book to my fucking self, honestly. <laughs> Maybe it would have done some more good. Okay. Now let's backtrack on back. There we are. I didn't actually look into too much at all about the quest. Just the rough enough details in order to get it, you know, in case there's any fun surprises. So it goes with uh, most of these creation club things, right? In the event that we have to look up where to find one. Uh... Hey, we'll we'll try to our best to avoid any spoilerific deets. Where okay, do you want to there. go? 
I want to go back to Windhelm. Climb and back, and we'll be off. Lovely. Let's chow down some salmon in case we like start Couldn't starving on the ride over. These carriage drivers, they need to start getting some food for us to eat along the way, right? <laughs> get some, get some peanuts. <laughs> Good God. Get some kind of like nightmarish airline food. Good Lord. I had a fucking. I had a fucking omelette on an airplane before, a long ass time ago, when we were flying, like, transcontinental. Do you say that if it's a- if it's a flight? But it was to see our family, to see family members who live outside of the country on a different continent, on the other side of the fucking world and all that. Hell of a fucking flight, but... On that flight, I had for the very first time, an egg omelette. Right? And it looked great, of course, in the picture. It even smelled pretty good. Like, because you could smell them preparing them and all that stuff. Tried it. It was fucking awful. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, we're getting into a whole what's the deal with airline food. It was really bad, and I, I don't really eat omelets any at all. <laughs> it completely set me off of omelets entirely. <laughs> all right. Let's go on up this way. I won't fuck with them. I just can't shake it. It was such a nightmarish taste. It's it spoiled me entirely on omelets. Can't be done. All right. Let's rest here for just a smidgen. Oh gosh. Here's our bed. All right. And then oh perfect. We'll go for 13 hours. There we are. Lovely. Okay. Hey, do you think they change anything in, like, Ulfric's bedroom or, or any of that shit? Or maybe, do you think they just, like, get in there? <laughs> do they just get in there? Like, I mean, you know, they're already sitting on... Fucking Brune Wolf or whatever is already sitting on the throne and all that. It's probably got Ulfric's, like, butt creases and everything. It's got his butt imprint all over it. Got some, like, butt sweat. Like... <laughs> Some leg hair fell off a pube or so just somewhere there. It's it's just it's just like really stained. It's just blasted with like like cum stains everywhere. <laughs> Good lord. Let's see. Let's clear skies. No! I don't know. Like they don't swap out the beds or anything, do they? Like I, fuck. I guess maybe it's just not a big concern, you know? It's just not a big concern. There's, there's worse shit going on. You know? Okay. Let's go on over here. I feel like Ulfric is definitely Welcome. a dude who is like... Let me know if you want well, past tense. He a was a dude here who would not have somewhere. washed his ass. Oh shit, look. Vincent Van Gogh is stuck. Wow, as if this place couldn't get more prejudiced. <laughs> Hey, my fucking friend Vincent Van Gogh can't even come inside? Good lord! Man, Windhelm just keeps getting worse and worse. <laughs> Alright, so we need to look for this dude's journal, right? If it's a mercenary you're looking for, oh, fuck. you is this actually it, it right here? Stronger sword arm for hire and all Skyrim. Yeah. Adonato Leotelli's journal. Oh you know what? I feel Good like we've see seen you. this before. Finally, and we put it off. Is around. Right? Okay, here we go. Caught in a web. Oh. Search Kronvanger Cave for the two heroes. Alright. Shit, should we read this? Sure. He's got the, like, perverse voice as well. It's not uncommon these days to see warriors of great renown pass through Candlehearth Hall beckoned by the clarion call of war. Many of them seat themselves by the fire, order their spirit of choice, and regale the patrons with stories of their triumphs. It is, however, a strange thing to watch such a tale write itself in front of you. But that is precisely what happened when two legendary warriors... Grenwolf the Brawler and Holric Frostsword sat down at the table beside me. 
It perhaps it was the mead that shortened their tempers, but it did not take long for a spirited argument to become heated. Grenwolf, a brawler famous for fighting with only his fists, had compared Holric to a soldier who fires a trebuchet, a man who is only as dangerous as the tool he employs. Holric, for his part, cut right through Grenwolf's claim. If the brawler relied only on his hands, then he should drink his mead from his palm and slice his bread with his fingernails. Man, honestly, that's not half bad of a comeback, right? Like, that ain't half bad. Not to mention, there are things in this world, Holric said, that fists alone cannot kill, even if that fist belonged to Randigulf himself. Oh, shit. Where is his sword? The ice blade of the mo- Okay, all right, we're, we're just- We're getting to the name dropping, okay? <laughs> all right. Uh, where is his sword? The ice blade of the monarch was blessed by the strength of the frost itself and could cut through the walls of ice that lined the edge of the world. Grenwolf scoffed at the notion, claiming that no man or beast had yet to survive a single punch. It was then that the divines, or perhaps darker minds, offered a resolution. A warrior came bursting through the doors, claiming a monstrous spider had taken root in the Kronvanger cave, claiming three in his hunting party. He wide his widened eyes and frowned lips, telltale signs of fear, spoke volumes to us all. It was a warning few would fail to heed, but our two heroes saw it as something else entirely, an opportunity to settle their dispute. And so the next morning they departed for Kronvanger Cave, Three weeks have passed since. In my life I have written tales of valor and tragedy, and those that are one and the same. And while the final chapter of Grenwolf and Holric has yet to be written, I fear this may fall into the latter category, as neither has saw fit to return. Uh-oh. Now the spider has the sword. <laughs> oh, sorry. I <laughs> sorry, sorry, Adonado. I still can't believe Isabella's gone. Oh, he she doesn't give a, a shit. <laughs> it didn't even occur to me that, like, yeah, I probably shouldn't take his fucking journal, right? As he's probably filling out another journal entry in a different journal book. <laughs> but hey, he doesn't mind. <laughs> All right, sure. So where is this even at? Caught in a web. I traveled to Candle Hearth Hall and read a journal about two warriors who traveled to Kronvanger Cave to defeat a dangerous spider. I should travel to the cave and find out what became of them. Okay, it's not too far. And we've been to Kronvanger Cave before as well. Alright, sure. Let's go check it out. I wonder if it's a section got, that got added. You know, as we've seen in others. Or maybe, like, now that we have the quest, something has spawned in. All right? Probably the former, right? Because frequently, whenever we get these Creation Club quests and all of that, they have like a separate offshoot in these dungeons, you know, that's specifically designated for the Creation Club fun times, you know? Either that or they just have their entire own new dungeon, you know? Okay. Let's see, is there any other thing we need to keep note of on our way out? No. Just a straight shot. Fair enough. Hey, maybe if we see some horses along the way too, we'll try to tame them and whatnot, right? I don't see why not. Okay. Over this way. But yeah, Ice Blade of the Monarch was 100% in Morrowind. Right? I don't believe we've gotten it in Morrowind Mondays yet. I don't think so. That said, even if we did, it's not terribly remarkable, as best I can remember. I want to say it's like, got some, it's either, if 
Fuck, I don't even remember. Maybe I'm conflating it with something else, but I want to say it had something decent for fighting, like, wizards. But I could be completely wrong. Maybe it's one of those weird swords or whatever. I'm pretty sure it's a two-hander, right? But it might be one of those weird items from Morrowind that has, like, a unique name and sort of... Uh, what do you call it? Model and all that? But it actually isn't enchanted to do anything. Not even, like, a generic enchant. It's, it, it just doesn't do fucking shit. Which I guess, you know, fair enough, if you are into enchanting. It kind of works out. Man, that is fucking buck wild. How have we never seen this before? This poor mammoth that has just had, like, a massive spider's egg laying right inside of its tummy. Oh my hey, god. Hey, there's a cave. Bad place to stumble drunk. <laughs> Fuck yeah, Cosnac. <laughs> Fucking Cosnac's words of wisdom. Hell yeah. I love it. <laughs> okay, cool. Should I take some egg from the egg sack? Fuck yeah, we can make an omelet. Okay, let's do a quick save just in case. There we are. Good. Alright. Well, no. Sneak mode engaged as well. Maybe we can give a sneak attack on the spider lord. There we go. These aren't like peace loving spiders, are they? No, they definitely are not. Okay. Holy shit! Look at Kosnak in there duking it out! Oh my god, he's fuck. Oh shit! He's sending him fucking flying! Oh my god! How did he fuck him up so easily? Jeez! Holy shit, Cosnick, you fucking hate spiders more than anything! Oh, look at this. Oh, uh, could this be part of. Oh, it's gotta be part of. Oh, what the fuck? Ah! Oh, shit. Ah! Oh, is this the place that we got taken when we got, uh, fucked up by vampires? Yeah, from the skooma den. Isn't this the vampire sk Wait. Oh, shit. Who is this? Oh, it's a fucking vampire. <laughs> I'll take your vampire money. Yeah! Give you the old smack a -rooney. Take your dust, too. Yeah, isn't this the same place that you get taken when you drink the red water skooma and all that? I feel like it is. Look at this. A skooma hound, I bet. Okay. Shit, I'm, f I'm a fucking skooma hound. Why not? Okay. Let's head on up here. Yeah, I totally remember this place. Don't you get trapped in- well, no, maybe this isn't the one I'm thinking of. Oh, hey. Vampire naturalist? Wait, should I not have killed this one? Oh, fuck. <laughs> Spider cage key, vampire naturalist journal. Oh, shit. Oh my god, okay. While my siblings may be obsessed with the taste that Im that fear imbues in the blood of mortals, I find that pain lends a much more potent sweetness. And nothing is quite so capable of causing pain as the venom of a frostbite spider. Isn't that bad for you, though, if you're trying to drink their blood? Right? And it, there's, like, venom going through it? Like, doesn't that kind of spoil it? But alas, the usual method of harvesting frostbite venom involves killing the spider, a costly and dangerous venture. Far too little venom can be obtained through violent methods for the experiments I wish to conduct. Ah, oh, shit, if only you were like a fucking supernatural being that had the ability to charm people and animals. If only you could do that and like befriend the spider and then just like... I don't know. <laughs> Milk its fangs for venom. 
<laughs> to that end, I have captured a frostbite spider from deeper in the cave so that I may regularly collect its venom, which seems to be unusually potent. I have dis I discovered that it appears to have some measure of intelligence, and I've been attempting to teach it to obey certain orders. Oh, how delicious it would be to have a tamed spider entangle my prey on command. I think I will name it Arachnia. Oh my gosh. Okay. Sure. I'll drink your potion of true shot. Cool. Let's look inside of this real quick. Not where we need to be, but hey, it kind of paid off, didn't it? This is from one of the fun little pets that we're collecting. There we go. Got some gold here. Just spread around. Hey, look at Arachnia. Fun blue spider. Ugh. It sounds even noisier than the fucking other creature. Oh look, harvesting frostbite venom. Oh, no. This is the usual book, right? This book existed in the game is before. Someone there? Whoa! Uh-oh. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. They're so e Hang on. Is the difficulty still at Ledjo? Yeah, okay. I mean, I guess they are just fledglings, right? Fair enough. Okay, take the vampire dust. Good. Wonderful. Okay, let's speak to the spider lord. Come with me, I need you to carry something. Can I, like, harvest your juice in any way? I don't- I guess not. Right? The elytra. We could harvest them for, like, their nasty goop, couldn't we? And get some kind of boon? Okay, wait for me at home. Head on over to Golden Hills. There we are. Our peaceful, like, fucking zoo. Okay. Let's peek around here a bit. Anything I can do up here? Good lord. I gotta tell you. Fucking my girlfriend and I, we started playing uh, together in a co-op game for the first time grounded obsidians grounded and it has been an absolute riot and it may also be the reason why this video ends up being a little bit shorter because i'm actually kind of fucking tired because I, we we got so sucked into playing it <laughs> good lord at some point i'll have to see if she's okay with me like tweeting out a picture of our little base or something that we built but it's been really enjoyable but uh there's some really fucking spooky spiders in there like, uh, I was fucking screaming in terror today. I was so fucking scared of those spiders. They are horrifying. <laughs> right? Like, especially because they, they are, they hurt you a lot. <laughs> nothing, nothing kicks up the fear in a video game when, like, the threat is real, you know? Like we've said a million times before, like, easy way to get over a fear in a video game is to just intentionally die to it, right? It completely ruins the fear and fun of it, right? Which is always the hardest thing to do in a game that's specifically like a horror game, you know? Because as the player, if the player starts struggling in a spot, the the entire game starts to suffer for it, right? Because it becomes less and less scary and it starts to spread out, right? So like that encounter starts to become less scary, but if they keep struggling, the entire game starts becoming less scary and all that, right? It just slowly starts to seep out everywhere. Very difficult to to maintain that sense of horror, right? Which I think is why you'll never find like a really good horror game that's super long, you know? Most of them are more contained experiences, right? Because like if you go on for too long, like you just get accustomed to it, right? Okay. Cool. Well, we got a spider friend. Beautiful. Okay. Let's head on over this way. We'll check out the other area. <gasps> Fuck. It's me every time. 
Look at our spider slunking on out of here. So this must be it, huh? Maybe that was the spider that they were here to kill. <laughs> it was that little tiny one. <laughs> okay. Grenwolf and who? Oh shit, look at the spider lords. They're just vibing right there. Okay. Well, let's go over and... Shut! Man! We are fucking them up, dude. Stop stepping, so we can really run. Remember, the one in the middle. Dude, I kind of want Koznak to get down here and just start fucking him up, like melee style. You know? <laughs> yeah, fuck this brawler person, right? They shouldn't have come down here to fight a fucking spider barehanded, and with a like ice blade of the monarch. They should have went over to fight fucking Koznak bare chested and all that. You know? How come I never got the opportunity to do this, right? You know? How come how come all the other times when someone was like, Oh, I'm a great hand-to-hand -hand fighter and all that shit, someone challenges me to a fucking brawl duel, right? I always gotta fucking slug it out with them with my fucking piss-poor melee damage in hand-to-hand. -hand. How come I can't ever be like, Huh, you think you're the toughest hand-to-hand -to -hand fighter? I'll have you know there's a spider nearby that we should test our might against. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't we do that instead? That'd take me way quicker than it, than it did fucking beating up Mikael early on. Fucking A. Took like fucking 30 minutes fighting that piece of shit. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Get all this. Yeah, yeah, everybody's webbed up. Do we see any signs of the people we're looking for or any... Ice Blades. I don't even remember the other person's fucking name. <laughs> okay. Oh, the Kronvanger Brood Lair. Oh shit, maybe this is the unique area for the Creation Club. Fun times. Oh, I can hear it. Oh shit. That. Good. Let's check on over here. Ah! Spat at. It's fine. Man, does Vincent Van Gogh ever run out of summons and shit? That motherfucker is just like calling upon the Storm Matronach. Nobody's business. Defeat the Web Mother. Is it really huge? Dude, we've been in this section before. Oh, I bet the web mother is gonna descend from there. Okay. Look, after grounded, <laughs> I can't be surprised by this. Show yourself, you foul monster. I see you up there. Fighting your babies. Oh shit, it does have a big nasty. Oh no! <laughs> All right. What the fuck is going on? Where'd all these ghosts come from? Oh, it's them! It's them! <laughs> Look! It's like a shirtless man, too, punching the shit out of the web mother. Wow. So these ghosts have been haunting the spiders? Is that what's going on here? The spider got is being haunted by ghosts? <laughs> Dude, it is kind of a cool-looking, unique spider model. Let's just take a peek at it. Yeah, look at its nasty butt. Oh, look at its big, nasty butt, dude. Oh, is its butt gonna, like, erupt in little babies and everything? I love that they gave him ghost voice. Brenwolf the Brawler. Ulrich Frostsword. Dude, they're doing great. I haven't even needed to step in here. Look at Koznak fucking go. Koznak, you you are the fucking ultimate champ, dude. Can you beat this, like, super spider on your own? Oh, fuck. Okay. Oh, shit! Koznak is, like, healing up. 
Is this motherfucker taking my ultimate healing potions? <laughs> or does Kasanag just have like some sort of inherent fighter's ability? Wow, look at him go! He sent it fucking flying! And then they start beating the shit out of each other. Wait, what are they doing? Can I talk to him? Oh, shit. They imploded. Oh, are these their- oh, these are their bodies. I see. Okay. Let's check this fucking Dark Souls 2 ass looking boss. Oh, wow, look. Yeah, its ass is even more insidious than I thought. It's got little legs growing on it, huh? Oh, dude, that is foul. Yeah, it's got like little tiny spidered legs. Jeez. Oh, it's got his frostbite venom. It is very funny that two creation club folks decide to make use of this same fucking cave, right? And one of- they even remark on the spiders inside. Little did they know that they were both going to be like, Fuck yeah, spider cave, hell yeah! <laughs> fucking love it. Hit that full. Oh, look at that. <laughs> they even bounced upward a little bit upon impact. Yeah, let's get all these down. Oh shit. Never mind, it can't be done. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay. How about this? Oh no, it absorbed it. Eh. Nope. Okay. See, if this were like an action platformer game, this is how you would fight the spider boss. <laughs> you would have to do this three times. <laughs> Land its own webbings on onto it. <laughs> like, like, there'll be one with, like, a really heavy, like, anvil or some shit. One that's, like, a really big rock, you know? You just keep dropping all this fucking shit on top of it. Okay. Is this... No. This is egg sack. I'm just gonna eat yeah! Oh, there we go. Holric Frost Sword. Yeah, Ice Blade of the Monarch. Target takes 30 points of frost damage to health and stam. Rick's note. Okay. How does it look? Yeah, it looks about how I remember. I don't think the Morrowind version, though, had the blue, like, crystal shit going on. It almost looks like Stalrim, especially down here at the pommel. It looks very Stalrim-esque. But the blade is definitely unmistakable. It was a very plain-looking blade. I don't know. I kind of like the minimis, minimalist look to it, though. I'm kind of down for that. That's actually kind of, like, up my alley if I were into a two-hander. Okay. We'll take it. Let's check the note. Grenwolf's always been beyond stubborn. On top of that, he lacks patience. When a man like him fails to open a jaw, he smashes the glass rather than rely on a cloth for a better grip. In Grenwolf's mind, using that cloth is a weakness. In my mind, it's far better not to have your food covered in broken glass. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Man, that's it. Okay. Dude. <laughs> I know you're trying to insult Grenwolf, but you just made Grenwolf sound incredibly fucking hard. <laughs> right? This motherfucker is eating glass. <laughs> That's how fucking wild he is. He's eating shards of glass from his fucking pickle jar. <laughs> it's a shame because I think he has the talent to be a good swordsman, but his foolish pride won't allow him to admit it. Okay. Fucking Holrick just talking up the competition here, incidentally. Is this a spider too? What the hell is this? Wait, what is this thing? Look, this is like a snout? What is this creature? Is this a horker? What is this body part? Hang on, what the fuck is this? Is this multiple creatures? Look, there's a paw. Is this a bear? What part is this here? Is that a tail? So then is the head over here? Look, it's like a fin. 
Maybe it's like spider shit, you know, it just shit it out. Oh, is it a hork? No, it's not a horker, is it? Yeah, maybe it's just like an amalgamation of body parts because it's like been shit out by the spider lord. All right, Grenwolf the Brawler. Oh, the Fists of Randigulf. Huh, not terribly good here. In Morrowind, the Fists of Randigulf, the right one, Right, of course, uh, if, if you're unfamiliar with Morrowind, they actually had a fairly intricate armor system, right? Where you could equip, there were so many different parts of armor. There were individual gloves, right? So you could have left and right gloves. Uh, the shoulders were individual as well, so you would have left and right pauldrons. That were, weirdly, boots were not separated. You would think that following that same ideology, and we even remark about this in Morrowind Mondays, I believe, but you would think following that same uh, train of thought, the boots would be individual as well, but I guess they just thought that was too fucking complicated, right? <laughs> I don't know why, but for whatever reason, the boots always come in pairs. But also there were not only boots, but greaves, right? Something that's missing here in Skyrim land, just as the, the pauldrons are, right? They're all part of the chest piece or the boots. Uh, of course, there's the chest piece and the hat. But one of the Fists of Randergolf is incredibly good because it boosted your strength attribute by like 15 or 20, which is fucking enormous. I think we're still even using it in our playthrough in Morrowind Mondays. I think we're still using one of the Fists of Randergolf to this day, if not both of them. They also look significantly cooler here. Man, I actually really like the look of these. And the, the ice blade. I really enjoy the look of them. Yeah. They're kind of understated in that way I enjoy, you know? But also at the same time, kind of, you know, they got the flair. Understated as far as fantasy shit goes, right? Like, there's no, like, wild-ass, like, enchantments popping the fuck off, you know? It's not, like, emanating some sort of wild, like, dark, fucked-up energy or whatever. Okay. Well, let's take it. It is good for unarmed combat, though. Right? I wonder if there's any way to improve that. Hmm. What is fascinating is that does it's not just unarmed, it's melee and unarmed damage. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Let us check their note here as well. Holric thinks there's things I can't punch through, but I've punched through walls, and I've punched through men. I don't care how thick your armor is. My knuckles are thicker. They're hard and calloused and ugly as a dromora, but they get the job done, no matter what. I once met a warrior who claimed to have the most impenetrable armor ever known to man, but when we fought, I punched him so hard the shockwaves rearranged every bone in his body, to the point his toes were coming out of his ears. Oh my god, what the fuck? <laughs> okay. So even if the armor doesn't give, the man inside is as soft as jelly. A spider ain't much different. It's got hard parts, and it's got soft parts. When I ball my fist and put all my weight on my back foot, there's nothing anyone can do. Not even a big spider. Though evidently it just tied you up, I guess. Right? How did the spider win when the spider was such a fucking baby? Jeez. What a stupid ass spider. It didn't even try to use the Fist of Randagolf or the Ice Blade of the Monarch. What a fool. What a miserable fool. Let's take a look at this fucking sweet sword in first person, huh? Oh, shit. It does look pretty fucking good. Look at that. What a nice, understated fucking look on a sword, huh? This doing it for anybody else? Like, I'm not a two-hander dude, nor am I, like, a two-handed sword dude. You know, it's not my, my, uh, fucking back, but... Holy shit. The aesthetic on it, I appreciate it. It's right up my alley. Look at that. That looks good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Man, I wish we had this when we were doing two-handed shit a while back, you know? Okay. Sure. 
Let's re-equip Sunder. Good stuff. Have there been any fucking Creation Club models that I have been unimpressed by that were like, uh, reoccurring models from past games? I, I guess a lot of the Shivering Isle stuff, but that- but I thought that that shit was all weird in its source material as well, right? <laughs> like, like if you go back and watch the Shivering Isles playthrough, I, like I said before, I, I make similar remarks that it looks- it looks like weird anime shit going on. <laughs> it, it, it really does not fit any other Elder Scrolls stuff. Which I guess in a sense, does make sense. It does check out in a way, right? Do we- do we actually check the chest here? No, we didn't. We didn't even look in here. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Got some Daedric mail. Alright. Well, we'll take all these special arrows and whatnot. Why not? Good. Look at this. Steel Sword of Frost. Well, you got the Ice Blade of the Monarch right there. Also in true Morrowind fashion. Uh, way back when you get that, if you're, if you have, if you're unfamiliar with that and Morrowind and all that, and you're wondering when I'm gonna finally spill the beans on who the hell Randagolf was, and like, who this monarch was, and what's this, what's the secret story about this ice blade and everything, nobody fucking knows. <laughs> That's just how shit was back then, in fucking O2 or whatever, right? We didn't fucking know, they just came up with names and shit. It, 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 there was no bearing on anything for half of the fucking artifacts and everything. There's no relevance. Randagolf? Sure, person with some cool fucking gloves, right? <laughs> May as well have been like the equivalent of a player, right? Making their own enchanted equipment and giving it like a unique name, huh? <laughs> See, eventually someone's gonna find all my shit and they're gonna think, oh wow, cool. It's got a weird story and actually, it does. It does kind of link together more to the lore than, <laughs> than like, fucking Randagolfs, right? I wonder if, like, in ESO or, or whatever, they finally seize the opportunity to flesh all that out, right? Like, like someone on their lore team or whatever just started notating all the weird-ass Morrowind artifacts and shit that had, like, no connections to anything else, right? They're just like, oh, fuck, we gotta find out, like, uh, like, shit. Ice Blade of the Monarch, fucking, what's another one, Chrysomir, Goldbrand, well, no, I think Goldbrand actually is relevant in the lore, because it's a Daedric weapon, right? There is actually some backstory to it, but Chrysomir, I think, is entirely unrelated to anything else. It's just, it's just got a fun name, as far as I can remember. Look at this pissed off wolf. Trying to fuck with this little fox, and failing at it. Getting hammered right in the jugular. By yours truly. Goodness gracious. Alright. Jeez. Well, let's head on back to... Actually, you know what? Look. We can chill here at Kynesgrove. Land things a little bit early here, huh? Seems good to me. Alright. When next we come back, maybe we'll hit up some more high-flying adventures. I can check my handy-dandy list and see what other cool Creation Club shit exists in this area. You know? Would also love to take this back to Hendraheim. Yeah, this would be great in Hendraheim. Holy hell. Should probably do this too. <laughs> Speaking of things that I don't really mesh with the aesthetic of. <laughs> Alright. Good. Well, uh, yeah. When next we come back, we'll probably seek out some more little fun creation club stuff if there's any in the area and all that, right? There's, I'm pretty sure we still have quite the, oh, quite the plethora of shit to attend to. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, I don't want to deal with it. <laughs> if I go inside the inn, it's like it's not even out there. All right. Until next time, please take care of each other.